All right, everybody, I got another video here. This is gonna be on my Droid Razor Max, and I'm gonna show you how to install Pac-Man ROM, um, which is a very, very cool looking ROM. Um, basically, let's go over some, a little bit of prerequisites for it, and uh, a little bit of its features. Uh, this is actually it already, it is installed right now. So I'm gonna go through the ROM first, and then we'll show you how to install it. Uh, Pac-Man ROM, is actually based on CM 10.1 so let's actually go into about phone here's our settings and go to about phone and right there Sygen mod CM 10.1 and Android version 4.2.2 so you can see that's what it is this is Pac-Man version 22.0.0 um, now Pac-Man ROM is basically just like CM10 in most aspects of it, um, but this is based off of Kexic, so this will actually run on basically any version of the Razer that has SafeStrap 3.11 on it. So you can be an ice cream sandwich, you can be on uh, Jelly Bean Christmas Edition or Jelly Bean Official. Uh, either way does not matter at all. So let's go over some of the uh, features in here. As you can see, you do have the quick toggles here, um, which is very, very nice and can be switched like that. And this would be notifications and this would be uh, quick toggles or you can switch with this button also. Um, let's go into settings again. Uh, settings is just jam, jam packed with information. And I don't know if you noticed this yet, but right here when I'm in settings look at my notification my battery and my signal and my clock and all that it's all gray now watch what happens when you go into your main screen it is now blue or check this one out now I'm in messaging app now it's green um, so these are some of the things that you can really mess with when it comes to the uh, Pac-Man ROM and I'm going to kind of show you in there uh, what is so neat about it. These are some applications. Uh, the stuff that came on here that's really unique to it, I guess, would be like Apollo, DSP, Goo Manager, pre-installed, uh, File Manager, which is Sigemod File Manager, which is a root browser. So that's pretty sweet. And uh, Terminal and Torch. The rest, some of those are other ones in there are mine, but otherwise that's the really unique stuff that's on uh, pre-installed. Uh, so let's go back into settings really quick. And let me just go over some more of these settings here. So this thing, like I said, is just jam full of settings. Uh, so you have uh, performance controls down here, which is for adjusting your CPU speed, your governors, your I.O. schedulers, uh, your free memory, and your SD read ahead, and a bunch of all these other goodies if you like to tweak all of this stuff. There is a lot of great information in here in this application or part of your settings. There's performance, which is standard performance for Sigenmod or CM10. You have their, their clock speed governors and all that kind of stuff in here. Let's see what else we have. Um, your developer options, obviously, where you'd want to turn on your USB debugging. Almost always want to have that thing on. Uh, let's see what else we got. Super user is built into the settings. It's not actually in the application in an app form, but it is right there. And then hybrid properties. This is where you can go in and you can change these settings like up here like how the clock and everything keeps changing colors per application uh, there's tons of great settings in here um, let me just kind of show you some of them so we're gonna go into apps here and then you got a list of apps and some colors and uh, font sizes and all that kind of stuff in here um, so I'm just gonna show you guys you saw settings earlier I'm gonna adjust settings here down and just give you an idea of how you can actually make this thing look very 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 different Let's see, there we go. Set that. And then we're going to set that. And we're going to go back out. And then we're going to go back to settings again and show it to you now. Okay, so now your settings are very small. Everything is, is, is shrunk down um, because you just adjusted all your fonts and stuff like that. So we're going to go back out to hybrid mode again and just show you apps. And this is a per app basis, like I was telling you. Go back to settings. And let's let's just bring it all the way over. And then hit apply. And, yep, that looks good. So, you go back. 
and now your settings is going to be your standard uh, size settings which is a little bit bigger so um, just some things you can tweak like that which are really nice let's go to properties here again and uh, you can do launcher stuff and how it's going to look you can go to interface and change some sizing and some layout features and nav bar and all these other goodies in here. Um, what else can we do here? Hybrid mode. And then the apps is the main one. Because apps is you can change things per app. So let me just show you another one like uh, gallery here. I've got gallery. This is the sizing of the gallery which is standard. And then you have some layout information here and then you have colors. And you see my clock colors like this purple. So, um, if I go into my gallery, actually I'm going to do it this way, and boom, my clock just changed to purple. So, I like the customization, it's very cool, there's a lot of neat little tweaks you can do in it. So that's kind of what you can mess around with, with the uh, hybrid properties. Uh, so let's go to the next thing, so a lot of fun right there. You do have ROM controls, which is like AOK, um, AOKP's uh, ROM controls and it's got everything in here from uh, battery stuff and you can change the icons on the top see I got a little circle icon I can just go to an icon you can change the color of the battery um, let's just go with green maybe boom try that and set and it should change uh, well, that's battery bar that's the wrong thing to change sorry guys that ain't gonna change the battery up there but um, that's for a battery bar across the top. I look into that later. But anyway, you can do your your clock stuff. Um, we can go clock style, and right now I've got it in the center. We can go right. Now it's on the right. Um, just just a lot of cool uh, tweaks you can do in here. You got general UI stuff in here for disabling boot animation and hardware keys and back buttons and all kinds of uh, little goodies in ROM controls. Then you got system, which is the basic kind of the same kind of stuff but this is actually from CM10 um, and toolbars and here you can actually turn on Pi Launcher let's see if I can get uh, Pi, Pi Launcher to uh, turn on here default yeah there it is so you can see you actually can get Pi Launcher and then customize it through the toolbars here and go back to home so uh, a lot of cool stuff there. You do have your standard themes, which you can theme and download theme choosers from the Play Store. And your launcher is Trebuchet Launcher, which is from Saige and Mod. And your lock screen customization and layout and stuff like that. Security keys and all those goodies, shortcuts. There you go, guys. That's pretty much the ROM. Um, pretty, pretty, pretty slick, pretty cool. Lots and lots of features, especially the per app colorization and stuff like that that you can really do which really gives it a real real unique look to this ROM. This is the Pac-Man ROM like I said for the Droid Razor, Droid Razor Max and uh, so prerequisites are you're gonna wanna be on well doesn't matter really it's just Texic. You wanna basically have SafeStrap uh, 3.11 installed that's one prerequisite you wanna make sure you have the ROM and the Google applications which I'll give you links to in the video description down below and uh, basically that's it. You got all those things. You already had root permission, obviously, if you have a safe strap installed. So we're just going to boot in. Oh, last thing. Has to be installed in ROM slot 1. Right now this thing's hard-coded for ROM slot 1. So let's power down and get into the ROM install. Should be really quick. It's pretty standard if you guys have seen any of my other ROM installs. We're going to go ahead and just hit reboot and see if we can reboot into safe strap. So let's give this a second and we'll boot up. All right, so we're rebooting here. We should see the safe strap splash screen, which is green because I'm running a custom ROM here. And we're gonna hit the menu button on the bottom right there, and that's going to boot us into uh, safe strap, which is based on Torp Recovery System, which is an awesome recovery. If you have it on any other devices, it is excellent. So uh, first thing we're gonna do is you want to go into boot uh, menu there, and then you want to make sure ROM slot one is activated. So if it's not activated, go ahead and activate it, and then set a nickname. I like Pac-Man, so that's what I'm going with. And go back. So it's highlighted here, it's highlighted here. We can go back. Um, you might want to make a backup of whatever you had in that slot. You would hit this button and make a backup if you want to do that. I'm not going to. Next, you're going to go to Wipes, and we're going to wipe all 40s right here. So we got Cache, 
Delvic, wipe that. Uh, factory reset, wipe that. System, wipe that. Back. So then we're going to go to installs. We're going to find our file, which is called Spider, and it says Spider Pack Jelly Bean and a bunch of numbers on there. It's called Spider because that is a designation for the Verizon Droid Razor. So we're gonna select that, make sure it's listed up here, which it is, and go ahead and flash it. When this is done, we're gonna go ahead and flash the Google applications, which are the 4.2.2 Google applications. So let's let this thing uh, flash and we'll come back to it. All right, so our uh, ROM has installed, so we're gonna hit the back button and we're gonna find the Google applications, which are right here. Again, like I said, those are for the 4.2.2 Google applications. Um, so they are listed. We're gonna go ahead and flash those. This is only gonna take about a minute. And from here, you're just going to let them flash across. There'll be a reboot button down there in the bottom right corner. You will hit reboot and you let it boot up. Device probably is going to take up to 10 minutes to boot the first time, um, just to get everything running. Then you gotta go through your setup, and that's it. You'll be good to go. That is pretty much the install for Pac-Man. That's the long, long ROM review here. Uh, go ahead and hit reboot. So uh, there it is, guys. I uh, hope you like this ROM install and review. Please play around with this thing. It looks like it'll be a lot of fun. You can change all those things and tweak everything out, really make this thing really real customizable when it comes to a custom round. This thing's right there. It's awesome. So I uh, hope you guys like this video. Uh, if you do, please give me a thumbs up. As always, please check out my website right above my finger right here, which is rootjunkie.com. You can follow me on Facebook or Twitter right over there. And uh, that's it, guys. Uh, we'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching. There's our boot animation too. Sigen mod because that's what it's based on, even though it's Pac-Man ROM. Thanks for watching guys.